In the 90s, Playmates Toys made the deepest line of Star Trek action figures in history. My name's Keith, and I'm a collector working towards owning all 284. I've been a Trek fan for almost 35 years, and most people are sick of me talking about it. But somehow I've convinced my old friend Mike to review them with me on... Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Look at my Star Trek toys. Uh, this is a big episode. This is a very exciting episode. Mike, are you ready? For the mother of all playmates. Oh, I'm so play ready. Sets. I'm changing costumes so as to con- portray the illusion that we didn't film these all back to back. Oh my goodness. So so good. So if you're keeping track at home, yeah, I'm still sleepy, Keith, but now I've I've inhaled so many uh uh vapors from Corrosive, the uh, corroded batteries. <laughs> corro- corro- corroded battery vapors. Uh so mm. he is now toxic Avenger Keith. Yes. So uh <laughs> That's okay, because I am so excited for this week. Uh, so, uh, there are huge shoes to fill, Keith. Let's be honest. Last week, mm. the, the the response has been overwhelming. Last week is the greatest <laughs> episode we've ever recorded. Uh, we the, the response that we have not received yet. Mike's just I'm, guessing. I'm assuming. I'm assuming <laughs> people will have been not only impressed by our problem solving. We didn't quit our gumption. Mm. Most other podcasts would have quit and said, oh, it doesn't work. Not us. Mm-mm. Keith put his, his, Keith risked his health and safety. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He he put hand sand <laughs> inside of a place where it probably wasn't supposed to go. No. Uh, and we got it to work. We freaked out like little children. We and did. And proceeded to do a magic trick, and I freaked out even harder. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, I'm still they, they beaming there. about it. I'm assuming if they if they if they're watching this, they they probably saw it. Yeah, that's a good point. So <laughs> the question be the question remains: hmm. Can anything top that? Can anything top that? Well, we're gonna find out uh, with the biggest, baddest, coolest playset out there from our friend and benefactor Pat from Rochester, New York, sent me. The oh. next gen bridge play set. The whole thing unopened. Right here, brand new. Uh, just look at the size of this. It's giant uh, and unbelievably cool. So Oh, look at that. Uh, like, what? And it's got like a that top down perspective is cool. That's cool. We had, and we when people sent us their displays, I don't think we've seen this one yet. We saw the transporter. Uh, or we saw seen... the uh We've Shuttle seen graph. shots. We've seen shots from inside it. Uh, oh, that's right. Yes, 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 yes. Now I know what you're talking about. Uh, but it's but you didn't realize it because it looks so good. You thought, oh, they built their own custom. No, it's this right here. This is the uh, number 6103, the Enterprise D bridge set. This came out in 1993. This is collector's edition, 44,400 and 56 with the sticker they added on the top uh if we look at the top here this was a toys r us purchase Mm, and mike what do you think it retails for in 1993 69.99 49.99 it's a pretty reasonable uh play set for what you're getting but in 1993 money that's that's a good amount of money so uh, your parents had to love you very much <laughs> to get a uh, a bridge set like this. Uh, That's a great Christmas present right there. Out. That is like a glorious Christmas open, right? Oh, there. under the tree! I feel like we're under the tree right now. Uh, so lots of uh, cool stuff that you can do. We're gonna discover it as we go. Uh, but yeah, this is the. Uh, Super playset holds the entire crew. I don't think it holds that entire crew behind me, but uh, it'll hold the main cast with working lights and sounds from the Star Trek show. Mike, what do you say? I almost, if I'm being honest, I'm almost like a little, it's almost something special. I don't want to, we got I want to take the moment and just appreciate the moment before we mm. pop that seal because it's, yeah, uh, the well, anticipation is sweet. Well, and these are rare to find. Uno- All of these are rare to find unopened. Uh, but certainly this one is, you know, there are rarer 
uh, sets that the Playmates put out. Later in the series, they didn't have as large of a run. But I don't know how many of these exist completely unopened, tape unspoiled. Uh, and so it is, I mean, you know, as, as I've mentioned, it's incredibly generous uh, for Pat to have sent us yeah, to yes. be serious about it, it's it's not just that. You know, it, one thing about this show that has really inspired me a little bit to get, or do you know, you, you, let me try to explain this, everyone. I hope, bear with me for a minute. I'm gonna go take a little ride around the block. Do you know how often as you age, when you think back of time, back in your childhood and, and fun memories, that nostalgic feeling is often bittersweet. It's often tinged with a, I don't want to say sadness, but there's a bitter sweetness about times gone by, right? Mm. This show, some of the things we've talked about, toys, playing, this little, this bit of our childhood that we still maintain an interest for in our adulthood is a nostalgic feeling that is all sort of joy. And yeah. what I didn't know is that I would still relive it as an adult as I did as a kid. So that's amazing. And I hope that everyone who's subscribed and is watching is getting e even a whiff of that along with us. But one thing we didn't have as kids, you and I specifically, was the chance to share it with anyone outside of our siblings or whoever, my friends who might be over at the time. But now, thanks to technology, we can kind of in engage with this. So I hope that, like I said, uh, some of you are, are enjoying it as much as we are because I'm having a blast. So I'm just taking no, that moment. And, and thank you. No, Pat. no, no. And I no, I thank you for that because I, as I, I feel exactly the same way. I mean, this, I mean, I, if I were twelve, and this was under the tree, or I guess I'd be thirteen. If I were thirteen and this was under the tree, I would be gaga excited. Well, now I'm forty-two and it's on my desk, and I am gaga excited. Uh, mm -hmm. So none of that has changed. Um, so uh, let us. Let's get into this. I, yeah, you know, and I, every time I, I, I break open the seal on one of these things, I feel a little guilty. I feel a little bit like, oh my God, this is like the coolest thing. Uh, but look, you know, as, as, as Pat put it when he sent it and, and he's like, this is to share, this is to show. Um, so, uh, it's to be played with. We're not, this is not an investment. We're here to show and play the things that we love. So here we are. We are into the box of the bridge playset. Okay, let that let the 90s smell waft mm. over you. Yes. Melrose Place. Mm. Melrose Place. <laughs> Terry Hatcher Terry on Hatcher. Uh, Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So, first off, there's all sorts of Wow, it's going to be stickers for days. I'm it not even going to... a montage. It's good. But it's like... I keep this getting all the stickers wrong. Uh, all right. Let's just look here as we always do. We have our, uh, our card here that shows all the other stuff that is for sale by Playmates that year. Uh, I now am getting close to having literally everything that's on this card, uh, which is cool. Here is our blueprints. The Starfleet main bridge. You can see uh, the aft workstations and the conference to the aft conference lounge, which is not the captain's ready room, which is, uh, and you see the turbo lifts in the back. And it just, you know, says what's all on the bridge. But if you're watching this, y you know what everything on the bridge does. Yeah, but I want to, I think a, sh a quick shout out to Playmates because often the instructions are incredibly dry and gauged for parents. But I think yeah. it's cool that they keep they keep it in character and they keep the lore extending yeah. through the instructions. In canon. I think that's cool. Yes. No, that's, no, that's totally true. Here's something I didn't know. The main viewer, the measurements are 4.8 by 2.5 meters hmm. uh, are the uh, are the view screen, which uh, I'm not going to be happy until my TV is that. So uh, I need a bigger TV is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't. My wife will kill me if for If anyone wants that. to send Keith a TV, and while you're at it, me. 
Uh, feel four point eight by six point something meter. <laughs> I don't. I don't think my room is big enough for that. It's a basement. Uh, all right. So here. All right. So there are going to be some instructions putting this thing together. So this is going to be a whole. <laughs> None of these yet have had incredibly detailed, specific instructions on assembly. So uh, there will be some assembly required. So I'm excited about that. You know Tons. what? Let's go through it, and I'll, I'll decide in post whether we need to see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike might do some editing. It's All a right. journey. We're on it together. We're a team, but we'll see. All right. Well, well I'll keep let doing us... that. Why don't you start, Keith? And I want to let people know if you've been enjoying this journey back in time with us and reliving a lot of these memories. Tell a friend. We're trying to grow this channel. We've got other stuff coming. It's not just look at Keith's toys. We're going to be uh, exp experiencing Mike's first foray into the Star Trek television universe coming up shortly. We hope you guys will join us for that. If you have a subscription to Hulu or whatever, you can get the old uh, the old uh, episodes of the Deep Space Nine. Why don't you go ahead and maybe uh, pony up that subscription so you can watch along with us. In addition, Definitely not Hulu. Uh, what Netflix is it? or Paramount Plus. Oh, Paramount Plus, right. Uh, we're not hawking those things, but, you know, I don't care how you find them. Just find them. And if not, just watch our summaries, but we'll get to that at another time. But make sure to subscribe to the channel down below, KME Entertainment, so that you get notified when those drop. Hit the bell icon, leave a comment below. Send us your customs, your suggestions, your thanks, your ridic ridicule. <laughs> Look at my Star Trek toys at gmail.com. I think that covers it. Keith, how's that sweet, sweet plastic opening going? Oh, I mean, this is like a model. There's, wow, okay. So there's there's just so many things. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. We can see the horseshoe starting to come out here. I'm just gonna get everything out and then we can start the assembly process. Uh, wow, this is so much more, uh, so much more going on here than I expected. Okay, so we have the, see the walls starting to come in. Because we, you know, we were debating on one of the uh, one of the episodes of the uh, of the displays we were doing whether or not they could fly out a wall to take the pictures. Mm -hmm. Well, you can. You can absolutely fly out a wall, the bridge here, to take pictures of your figures, which is uh, awesome. Oh, I see. All right. Now we have taken. Ooh, cool. There's the view screen. I love how the back of it is like an old CRT TV. Oh, that's cool. Because <laughs> they couldn't conceive of a flat screen <laughs> in 1993. Maybe there's batteries in there or something? There are batteries. Okay. So here is the base. Of, wow, this is huge. It is big. So here's where we put our batteries in. Uh, cross your fingers, no whammies on corroded batteries. Well, there are no batteries in there. That's... What does that take? Uh, a nine nine volt? Uh, no, these are these are uh, double A's, which is which is good. Last episode we had to dive around trying to find some C batteries, which we did have miraculously. Uh, was not prepared for that, but uh, no, this is definitely one where they you could not get to this in the display when they were selling it, so they didn't bother to put batteries in there so the kids could test it in the store. If you were getting this, you were already, this was like an investment. You, you knew what you were getting. You knew what you wanted. Okay, so batteries are in. Look at my batteries toy. Look at my batteries show. All right, there's the base. So let us go back to our instructions. They're underneath all that debris. Yes, we begin with assembling the bridge control center. All right. Well, that's the view screen. Oh, crazy. Cool. They actually... All right, so the view screen lights up. I think, I, I think we can go out of order. I'm just going to put the view screen in here, and there are contacts there. So that locks in uh, to do the lights and sound. So here's the horseshoe, which goes over Worf's console here. You have to do it carefully because Worf has all of the buttons, which I'm assuming fire all the fun stuff 
that this does. So, come on, horseshoe. Is there a base to that? No. Do this carefully. Okay. Right. There. I mean, of all of the all of the bridges on Star Trek, I mean, yes. Does this look like a 1991 Radisson as opposed to like a Starfleet bridge? Yeah, but it's so cool. I mean, come on now. It's amazing. Alright, so it has an on-off. Not gonna talk about that yet. That's cool. Not gonna okay. can't show Mike that yet. So now we have the walls. Top cam is a little saying we're uh, a lot of packet loss. I don't know. It must be on your side, but it's a little uh, laggy. But we're making it work. That's that's all right. That's all right. I'm a little laggy too. Hmm. Well, set, well done. All right. So we have here. All of the consoles. Wow, there's a lot of pieces. There, There's a, a ton of pieces. All right, so these are going to go here under the horseshoe, I would imagine. Oh, wow. I <laughs> This is really complex. All right, so these are going to go on top of these for their little pads that they have uh, they can control stuff with. I've already done this wrong, I think. So that's 33. Mike's gonna have to edit. This is like me watching my niece put together Legos. I wanna get involved, but I'm choosing, I'm selectively making myself not. But you, Only well, here you, I physically cannot, so. You, well, that's, that's true. All right, so these are the side ones. So these go there, and these are, let me see here, make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm too excited, I can't, uh, okay. Does Charlie want to play? Ch Charlie has always wanted. to. Charlie hears a lot of jinglies, and so he's like, maybe I could steal some of this. Yeah, I could get in on that. Get up one of those plastic bags. Oh, I've done this all. Oh, what do you think, Charlie? <laughs> That's right. Charlie, thank you for your assistance. He's like, I'm going to steal something. What is this? Okay. You know, generally we save the cat content for our for our Patreons, but... Our Patreons! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's wrong. I think I've got these backwards. So there's a ton of stickering yet to do uh, to fill in all of this uh, with all the D-pads and such. But I think uh, uh. let's find out what some of these things do, okay? Uh, first off, we got some buttons. We oh, I have to turn it on. Oh, oh cool! Look, it lights up the Brit! It there's a Romulan Warbird on there, and it lights up. Oh my god, if you're Worf. Oh, klaxon alarm. Going to warp. That's the uh, tractor beam. Oh, no way. 
Oh, that's Hold cool. on. I, I got to figure out how you can how you can see this. All right. So, uh, oh, it you shows know what? the laser beams going. Go to go the to s- the side side shot there. Look at the screen. Oh, cool! It actually hits the ship. At least when you do the the, the photons. Oh, oh you can see the off. red alert going on. Look at that's that! That's cool. That's really cool. Oh my god! No, keep, no way! That's really really cool. Wow! So not only does it have the bridge or the the view screen that lights up, you can see red alert. You can see shots hitting the. Uh... Wow! That's cool, man. That's so cool. You want to see something else that's really cool? All right. If we go, let me see. Yeah, that's a decent view. So uh, we want to uh, head to the, uh, here, I'll do this one. Head to the observation lounge. Boom. Sweet. The doors open and shut as they did in real life. Oh, so cool. So cool. All right. So (laughs) we still have, sorry. So Locutus is going to uh, take over the bridge here. This is, I mean, especially once you get all this, when you get all the decals on, and uh, maybe I'll I'll make a uh, make a make a, a night of it and put these all on and take some pictures for uh, for when we Instagram? when we broadcast cool. this for Instagram. But uh, so if we look at some of the the decals, oh yeah, we got here. a couple weeks. In fact, so let's here's a good. So Keith's showing the decals here, as he's showing us, I'm gonna overlay some pics. Keith is gonna send us. Of the final version. Of oh, that's a good version. idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh the, the magic of the. You, you know, you're saying we had a time machine. Now we have a time machine. Ooh, that's, look. That's right. The future is overlaying onto this, or it won't because I forgot to do it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but my goodness, what a set. I, I'm just going to press all these buttons. It's interesting, too, because as a kid, right, like, you're playing top-down, so it's great to get that view, because out from the outside here, it looks sort of just like a Roman Coliseum situation. Well, here's here's another cool part about it, right? If you take these off, the uh, the connectors, you can pull down the wall mm, and look cool. at it from the side. That is so cool. these the, the walls here are designed to fly out, essentially, well, take out, cool. so you can go and play with them and see inside and see the view screen uh wow and get the whole get the whole cast in there yeah go ahead no no that's all i was gonna say kit and caboodle the whole kit and caboodle yeah yeah i mean wow god the 13 year old or the 12 10 year old me is just like blown away because again once i get all the decals into it i think it's going to really come to life but this is like the set. I mean, they basically gave yeah, us dude. the set. Uh, oh, let's which, do the um. Let's let's check out and see how the uh, do the old side by side. Oh, you're gonna have to do a little. I yeah. Wanna... So I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but uh, well, let's, it looks it's good. <laughs> well, but you know the other thing you can do though, right? Because if you want different views of it, you can. Fly out sections of it. You just so break if it? You, no, no, no. The pieces are they, they all come back together. Uh, but if you go to the go to the side cam here, you can look down the barrel oh, of the yeah. bridge. That's, that's cool. our that's our classic shot there. So you can that's that part of it is incredibly cool because you can you can literally do whole scenes and shoot it like you do uh, like they actually did the show itself. Right, mm-hmm. because when they had when they wanted to have coverage, a lot of the coverage was straight down the barrel here. So they'd take out the view screen, put the cameras there, and shoot everybody as they would normally. If they want to do the view screen in the opposite direction, they'd take out this section and shoot back towards the view screen. They they put the view screen back, then shoot it that direction or any of the other any of the other angles there. They removed pieces of the wall to get the coverage that they needed. Um, so. You know, if I were if I were a uh, little director, Keith, with my figures and my uh, 
my video editing software, which I put into in my computer for the first time in 1995, a video capture card with editing software. It was pretty primitive, uh, but I could have actually done it. I know, I know a lot of people do sort of uh, Star Trek comic strips and little animation videos using this set with the figures. Uh, so, wow, what a what a cool looking set. And you know, and honestly, like, because you have it sort of like this, it looks very classy. It's going to look classy on mm -hmm. the shelf um, because it's self-contained and yet it's, it's yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, I think thing. that as far as possibilities, use case possibilities and play possibilities, this is by this is for sure the Mac Daddy. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, if you're going to tell a I Star Trek story. The, the, the transporter, mm -hmm. just for sheer sort of glee of that, uh, the effect. The, that, the magic trick, yeah. That... Maybe it was my favorite, but definitely I think that this offers more possibilities for play than that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, and speaking of somebody who uh, wrote and directed, starred, produced my own episode of Star Trek with my little brother, there's a little clip of it in the intro. Uh, and someday, may, maybe if we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll put it this way. When we hit a thousand subscribers, I will post uh, Star Trek The Wrath of Neener. Uh, that my brother and I made in the basement. That's my promise to you hey, right Keith, here. Yeah. Speaking of promises, this works mm -hmm. out well. I was planning to say this one way or the other. So that's a great goal for 1,000 subscribers. For 500, I've got an idea. Okay, what's so that? So speaking of, you said shooting and editing the, you know, the walkthrough. Now, I have read online that there are some people, I've yet to be able to discover how to find this. So there apparently are Full 3D model walkthroughs of various ships that you can oh, do yes. in the Oculus Quest, like, mm -hmm. as in virtual reality. Now, I have yeah. one of those and a pretty beastly computer. I believe I can capture it in real time as I walk through, be it the Enterprise or one of the other ships, as you guide me, Keith. Oh, I'd love that. I think that would that. be a great episode. So that If would we can be... get away with that copyright-wise, yes. I think so. 500 subscribers will do it because it's a play-along, right? But I'm going to need some help in the comments below or send us an email at lookatmystartrektoys.com. Do you know how... Wait, that's not right. Look at my star, star trek, trek toys, toys at gmail.com. Gmail gmail yes. Let me know how to find that. Uh, is it on Steam or how do I install... Like, where do I... do I, How do I get it? If you can help yeah. me with that uh, and we can get those 500 subs, let's do it. I think that would be a Love fun it. little thing. Yeah. All that's right, a toy. All right. That's, that's looking at the toys. Totally. And then, Absolutely. Yeah. For 500, we get the through, Oculus walkthrough. For 1,000, you get me playing Picard, uh, Worf. Uh, my brother plays oh, Jordy. And my little brother plays plays Jordy and Troy. And we have a huge Klingon battle that we choreographed ourselves. And uh, what I'm going to post, because I don't have the original, sadly, is the remastered edition, which I handed off to my, uh, my older brother, who worked on the Star Trek shows, and he went back to the original next-gen sound effects and edited it with sound effects as if it were the actual TV show. So look um, out, kids. We Let's get those subs. Let's do it. Smash that <laughs> 1, bell. 1,000. Like, get the bots, whatever you need to do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Use a bot. All right, yeah. folks. Uh, yeah, so thank you again for watching another crazy zany exciting episode of look at my star trek toys uh here it is the mac daddy we'll put some more pictures once i've got all the decals up this is cool till then this has been look at my star trek toys thank you for watching kme entertainment if you enjoyed our particular brand of nonsense please like and subscribe